everyone knows largemouth bass. They hit hard, they're fun to catch, you can find them in almost every state. And today, I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite ways to catch them. Fly fishing. It's more effective than you might think. Here we go. When most people think of fly fishing, they think of trout streams or even tarpon. But in actuality, it's just another great way to catch largemouth bass. Well, you can certainly use crankbaits, chatterbaits, different worm imitations, senkos, wacky rigs, etc. Using flies like woolly buggers, clouser minnows, dahlberg divers, and frog imitations with spun deer hair can be very effective. I recommend five, six, or even eight weight fly rods for this. Bass will fight hard on any size fly rod, and it's a very effective method of catching them. One of the benefits of using a fly is that you can have a soft landing and stealthily present the fly to the fish. I prefer to fish for bass that are bedding and sight cast to them. However, if the bass are hanging deeper, you can use a sinking line, or a heavier fly and just increase the dumbbell eye size or use some lead wraps around the shank of the hook. In any event, catching large bass or small bass is very, very likely if you're throwing flies in the right area. I encourage everyone to try it. It's a great way to catch bass and it's a departure from the norm. It's a great way to catch your first fish on fly if you're inexperienced and haven't caught anything yet. It's a great segue into saltwater fly fishing. And of course, you can apply these same tactics to freshwater, but to smallmouth bass. Give it a try. <laughs> 